But to, you wouldn't. You, you won't support Trump. No. No. No matter. No, what. Look, here's the thing. I can't support a convicted felon. Well, you wouldn't former, support him even if he isn't. I'm a conv- former prosecutor. You wouldn't even if he isn't. Right. Conv- but the, here's the thing, Joe. Like, it, it's now this has become a certainty in my view, with Meadows' uh, testimony, and so now they're asking someone like me, who's a former prosecutor, to support a convicted felon for president. Think about this. He can't even vote for himself. If he is convicted in April or May, which I expect he will be, he will not be able to vote for himself in November. That's who we're going to put on the ballot. What do you think the Democrats are going to talk about from that day to November? All they're going to talk about are the crimes he committed to try to overturn the election. And they just submitted a brief, his lawyers, saying he never took an oath to support the Constitution. Well, hell, man, I was there. I heard him say, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. I heard him say it. They're even denying that now. If you think that's not going to be the main thrust of the Democrats' campaign, if he's the nominee, you're living in fantasy land. That is the former governor of New Jersey, Republican Chris Christie, who's seeking the presidential nomination in the Republican Party, also a former federal prosecutor in New Jersey, the top federal prosecutor in New Jersey. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. A point there that Chris Christie said that we shouldn't lose sight of is that Chris Christie says that when, not if, when Donald Trump is convicted, because the key witnesses against Donald Trump are former Vice President Mike Pence and Donald Trump's former Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, among other witnesses who actually work for Donald Trump, people who are Republicans. But when Donald Trump is convicted, not only is Donald Trump going to be a felon by summer of 2024, he's going to be unable constitutionally to even vote for himself as he is in prison. And I think a lot of people are now sharing my views that it's not merely going to be house arrest, that Donald Trump would be in prison. I feel strongly about that Judge Chutkin's going to remand him into prison. One of the things Chris Christie mentions as well, though, is that Donald Trump's defense to the disqualification clause, to his involvement in the insurrection, is that he never took an oath to support the Constitution of the United States. I want you to think about that, that Donald Trump has argued that he has not taken the oath to support the Constitution of the United States, and thus the Colorado Supreme Court and the lower courts should not even have jurisdiction to hear a disqualification case involving him. And here's what we do on the Midas Touch Network for those just watching. I don't just make claims and then throw my hands around and then say, trust me. We'll show you the document. This is what Donald Trump filed before the Colorado Supreme Court. Uh, Arguments are scheduled for early December on the appeal where the lower court judge ruled that Donald Trump engaged in insurrection, but that the 14th Amendment Section 3 of the Constitution's Disqualification Clause does not apply to Uh, presidents. It only applies to people running for the presidency or vice presidency. It only applies to members of Congress, senators, House of Representatives, electors, and uh, lower offices. Here's what Donald Trump says. The framers excluded the office of president from Section 3 purposefully. Section 3 does not apply because the presidency is not an office under the United States. The president is not an officer of the United States. And see where it's highlighted right here. And President Trump did not, I don't call him president, that's what Trump's lawyer says. And President Trump did not take an oath to, quote, support the Constitution of the United States. Let me repeat that. Donald Trump's argument is that he did not take an oath to support the Constitution of the United States and just and thus the 14th Amendment does not apply to him. It's right. Could you ever imagine in American history, there would be somebody running for the office of the presidency whose argument about despite leading an insurrection, aiding and abetting an insurrection, they shouldn't be disqualified because they never took an oath to support the Constitution. I want to show you this next clip of Chris Christie. Here, Chris Christie uh, is criticizing his other opponents like Nikki Haley, and she's gaining some momentum in New Hampshire and Iowa as well, saying you can't have it both ways. 
If you're running for the office, you can't just say, oh, trouble happens to just follow Donald Trump. You got to call out what's really happening. Play this clip. Uh, the, the problem, though, Mika, one of the problems is I'm the only one making yeah. this argument. I you know. know. You, you, had, you had Nikki Haley yesterday in South Carolina saying he was the right president for the right time. And for some reason, drama seems to follow him. Like, come on. Like, you know, either run against him or don't run against him. If you're running for second place, tell everybody you're running for second place. I'm not. I've been offered cabinet positions in the Trump administration, turned them down. I was offered White House chief of staff by Donald Trump and turned it down. I'm not interested in working for Donald Trump. I'm interested in restoring this country's commitment to the Constitution above everything else and to the rule of law. And that's what I will do as president. And that's why I'm running for president. Here, Chris Christie says something that we've been seeing here, which is that momentum is growing in Iowa and New Hampshire for other candidates. And as Donald Trump's taken Iowa for granted, he's attacking their governor, Kim Reynolds. He's attacking their Republican leaders there. And, and, you know, you look at the, 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 the latest data right there and, you know, you have Nikki Haley and DeSantis together, if they were combined are about equal to and potentially could even exceed uh, the support for Donald Trump. And so if you see momentum shift to one of those individuals, I think that they could give Donald Trump a, a run for his money in Iowa and New Hampshire. I've been saying that before. Here, play this clip. Well, Trump's voters in New Hampshire said they are uh, open to changing their minds between now and primary day on January 23rd. So, you know, I know everybody wants to make this race over um, now. Um, but it's not over, and it's it's not even close to over. And when you look, just look at the history. Forget about predictions. Let's look at what's happened over mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. And what's happened tells you that there's a long way to go here, and I like the fact that we're gaining momentum now. And then finally, I want to show you this clip right here. And again, do look, I probably disagree with Chris Christie on most issues. But when it comes to our democracy, when it comes to how he's calling Donald Trump out for his lack of character and lack of decency. Look, that's something I agree with. So I'm going to platform that here because I agree with it. And here Chris Christie says, yeah, the rise of hate speech and anti-Semitism, all the things we're seeing stem from the fact that uh, morality has been ripped to shreds by the fact that people like Donald Trump use intolerant language every single day and and normalize it. Here, play the clip. Well, look, when you show intolerance towards uh, everyone, which is what he does, um, you give permission as a leader uh, for others to have their intolerance come out. And so, uh, you know, intolerance towards anyone encourages intolerance towards everyone. And that's exactly what's going on here. Uh, And that's been going on for quite some time, not just with Donald Trump, but with university professors uh, on some of our, our, our most elite campuses in this country, with university administrators and presidents who have been unwilling to stand up against anti-Semitism uh, on their campuses, most particularly. And there should be no campus in this country where a Jewish student is afraid to leave their dorm, a Jewish student is afraid to go to their classes, a Jewish student is afraid to go to even have a meal in the dining hall. I mean, that is outrageous and it's wrong. I think governors in those individual states should be sending state police to make sure that they're protected on those campuses. Um, And we need to have university presidents who are willing to stand up and be counted against hate. And that's exactly what's going on here. We saw this display also at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Um, These are folks who are ignorant. And when they talk about intifada, my guess is two-thirds of them don't even know what intifada is. And if they did... They'd be ashamed of themselves for calling for the uh, elimination of the Jewish people around the world, which is what Intifada is. And so, you know, in the end, um, look, I think that there have been a lot of people who contributed to it. And I believe Donald Trump's intolerant language and his intolerant conduct gives others permission to act the same. So, folks, tell me how you feel in the comments below. But I think what Chris Christie's saying there is something that is worth our attention. And I think especially when you hear what he says and you look at Donald Trump's brief saying Trump did not take an oath to support the Constitution, that is something that no matter, again, what political party you're with, you should look at that and go, that's horrifying. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. 
We're on our way to 2 million subscribers thanks to your support. Check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch. Have a great day. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram at Midas Touch to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.